Washington, D.C. The latest conflict between religion and gay rights to reach the highest court included a Christian graphic artist who objections to developing wedding websites for gay couples. The Supreme Court's conservative majority expressed sympathy for the artist on Monday. According to the designer and others who support her, a decision against her would compel musicians, painters, and photographers as well as authors and designers to produce work that goes against their moral convictions. Her opponents contend that if she is successful, a variety of businesses will be free to practice discrimination, including turning away black, Jewish, or Muslim consumers, interracial or interfaith couples, immigrants, and others. Lori Smith, the website designer in the case, was referred to as an individual who says she will sell and does sell to everyone, all manner of websites, but that she won't sell a website that requires her to express a view about marriage that she finds offensive by Justice Neil Gorsuch, one of the three high court appointees of the former President Donald Trump. The high court heard arguments on Monday on where to draw the boundary for what a business can do without breaking state anti-discrimination laws. Justice Katanji Brown Jackson questioned whether a photographic studio in a mall had the right to decline requests to photograph black persons sitting on Santa's knee. Kristen Wagoner, the attorney for Smith, was pressed frequently by Justice Sonia Sotomayor regarding additional categories. What about those who are opposed to interracial unions? Or what about those who don't think disabled persons should marry? Where is the boundary? Tomeyer inquired. Although it appeared that Justice Samuel Alito was on Smith's side, he questioned whether it was fair to equate opposition to same-sex marriage with opposition to interracial marriage. The case follows a string of cases in which the justices sided with religious plaintiffs, and it comes at a time when the court is dominated by conservatives, 6-3. Across the street from the court, lawmakers at the Capitol are finalizing what would be a landmark bill protecting same-sex marriage. Smith, a graphic designer and website designer from Colorado who wants to start providing wedding websites, is the subject of the case being debated before the high court on Monday. Smith claims that because she is a Christian, she is unable to design websites that honor same-sex unions. Wagoner informed the judges that Ms. Smith believes opposite-sex marriage follows scripture and same-sex marriage violates it. However, Smith may run afoul of state law if he offered to construct wedding websites for same-sex couples but declined to do so for opposite-sex couples. Like most other states, Colorado has a law known as a public accommodation law that mandates that if Smith provides wedding websites to the public, she must also make them available to all of her clients. Businesses that break the law may face penalties in addition to fines. Smith claims, like Phillips, that she has no problem dealing with LGBT people. Her attorney said she had LGBT clients. She does not, however, agree with the creation of messages that encourage same-sex unions, just as she would not make a website for a couple who met when they were both married to other people before getting divorced. Smith claims that Colorado's statute infringes on her right to free speech. The Biden administration, the American Civil Liberties Union, and the NAACP Legal Defense and Educational Fund are among those who oppose her, while 20 additional, mostly Republican states, including Arizona, Indiana, Ohio, and Tennessee, support Smith, 20 other, mostly liberal states, including California and New York, support Colorado. The case number is 21 to 476 in 303 Creative LLC v. Yelenis.